Welcome everyone. Today we're going to be working on Monet's water lilies. Um, we just got done viewing a um, PowerPoint about Monet and about Impressionism and how the Impressionists were all about broken color strokes and trying to capture the mood and emotion of light um, in landscapes mostly and sometimes in portraits. Um, and today what we're going to do is we're going to start the drawing for our Monet composition that we're going to do. We looked at a lot of pictures of his garden and we talked about his water lilies and we looked at how, how all the little groups of water lilies kind of floated simultaneously on the water and how he liked to paint the water part down here to show the reflection or the impression of the sky. We also talked about his Japanese bridge that he built in his gardens um, and how he incorporated those into lots of his paintings. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a composition based on Monet's um, and it's going to have a, the Japanese bridge in it and it's going to have the reflection of the Japanese bridge in the water. Okay. Then later on we'll put in all the little um, details. Today what we're going to do is we're going to make the drawing. One thing we already talked about is symmetry. We talked about you know how symmetry is usually vertical. We think of symmetry, but today what we're going to do is we're going to have a different symmetry line. It's going to be this one right here. So you can notice how I folded my paper already into thirds, three even parts: one here, one in the middle, and one at the top. So to get started, this is the picture that we're going for. Everyone's is going to look a little bit different, um, and that's okay. That's what we want, but we do want the idea and the feeling of Monet's water lilies and his, his garden that he had at Gervini. Okay, so here we go. Here's our paper. First things first, you're going to write your name on the bottom. Mine's Mr. Lundgren, so I'm gonna write Mr. Lundgren. And you will write your name there instead of mine. And then you're gonna write your section. Um, let's pretend this is Mrs. Groves' class. Okay, and write your teacher's name right there, okay? Then flip your paper over so you have a clean sheet like this. Now, you're going to notice that our paper is 18 inches long, and you should have a ruler with you. So what you're going to do is lay your ruler so it's lined up at the top and it's lined up at the bottom. Okay, you see it down there at the bottom. And you're going to look for the 6 and the 12. Okay, and you're going to make a little mark next to the 6 and you're going to make a little mark next to the 12. Can you see those? Good. Now you're going to slide your ruler to the right. You're going to do the same thing. Make sure it's lined up with the top of your paper and with the bottom of your paper. You're going to look for the 6 and the 12. And you're going to make a little mark on the 6 and a little mark on the 12. Okay. Then you're going to take these two marks and you're going to line your ruler up with those two marks. And you're going to gently lightly draw a line. I'm going to make mine dark so that you can see it, but I want yours to be light. Okay? We don't need them to stand out. There's my first line. And here's my second line. So that we have a line across our paper at 6 inches down from the top. And we have our line 12 inches down from the top. Okay? When you've got that, give me a thumbs up so we can move on. Now you're going to take the bottom edge of your paper and you're going to fold it up to the top line like this. Okay, so you've got a fold there. Then you can take the top edge and fold it down to the bottom line. And open it up. So you have two folds. Okay, so we've got our paper divided into thirds now. Okay? Now we're going to start our reflection. Now, looking back at this paper, you can see now that my line of reflection is that top fold. Okay, So this is my line of reflection. Anything I put on the top is also going to be on the bottom. Okay, Now, take your pencil and we're going to draw the little bushes or cat cattails that are on the bank of Monet's little lake. Okay, So I'm going to start here. And I'm going to make a curvy line, whatever you want. Okay, and there's my curvy line for the cattails or the bushes on the far side of the riverbank. Okay, now I'm going to have to make it symmetrical on the bottom of that line. So you can take your ruler and you can kind of measure. 
Okay, well here it is. It's an inch and a half from that line. I want it to start an inch and a half down there. And here's an inch and a half, good. And I want to start down here an inch and a half, so I'm going to make a little line. So I've made two little dots here, inch and a half down, just like these are inch and a half up, and I've got my highest point like right here. So I'm going to take a line and I'm going to try my best to be symmetrical. I kind of wave down and back in, a little bit down, in, and then down to this tallest part, and kind of this way, up. And do the best you can. I realize it's not going to be perfect. Do the best you can. And so there's my two symmetrical pieces, the top of the riverbank and the reflection in the water of that riverbank. Okay. Then we're going to draw the trees. Okay, remember in the background, he always had like um, his trees, maybe one on one side, one on the other side, depending on where he was standing. Um, and on this side, it was a weeping willow tree, but we're just going to do whatever. I'm just going to take a line down from the top, kind of a curvy line, and this is kind of a tree. And then there's like a little bush in behind there, kind of two layers of bushes. And then this tree that comes out here. So these are our trees in the background. Now we're going to need to put the trees into the water, correct? So I'm going to kind of hold my ruler here and make a little mark. Okay, here's my mark. You can see it there, just to about where my trees should start and end. Here's a mark over here for where my trees should start and end on this side. And I'm going to try to be symmetrical here. I'm going to start at this line, because that's here right and I'm gonna kind of um, go in and then it goes in this way it curves down make the little bush in the middle okay and then it curves in this way and comes out more now I've got this bottom part that I I don't know I can't I don't can't make it symmetrical so to speak okay so we're just gonna imagine the rest of it I'm gonna take this tree and I'm gonna wiggle a line off here so there's my tree reflection and then over here here's my other tree reflection that way okay so I've got a reflection of the top stuff onto the bottom stuff now we're gonna start with our bridge okay so we've got the reflection of the bushes in the back into the water we've got the trees here reflected on the bottom and now we're gonna do the bridge okay the bridge we are going to say the bridge is going to start two inches from this line. So put number two right on the middle and draw a little line at the top of your ruler. Okay, you can see that line right there. Do the same thing on the other side, two inches up and make a line. Okay, that is where the bottom of our bridge is going to start. And you're going to just take a curved line from this side over like that to end at your number two mark. Now you're gonna start up here, okay? And we're gonna we're gonna have our bridge be two inches tall. So I'm gonna put my ruler. I'm gonna put the four right here, and then I'm going to make a line at the top. And I'm going to put the four right on our reflection line. Okay. And then I'm going to make it the same as this curved line. Starting here, curving up, and curving down. So there we have our bridge. Okay. You can see the bridge there. When you got that, pause. Okay. Now I'm going to finish, kind of fill in the bridge. I'm going to put the bottom on the bridge, you know where the wood like walkway would be. I'm just going to draw a parallel line right along with the bottom of the bridge that's already there. Okay? I'm going to put the handrail on the top, so I'm going to put another parallel line right here. That's the handrail that you would hold on to. And now we need the vertical lines for the, you know, pieces that are going from the walkway to the handrail. And I'm going to put four all together. I'm going to kind of evenly space them. Okay, I'm going to put one right here. I'm 
I'm gonna put one right here. And your ruler should be straight up and down because those uh, pieces of wood would be straight up and down. Then I'm gonna put one over here. And everyone's can be spaced a little bit differently, of course. Um, they don't have to be perfect. Not everyone's has to match mine. Okay. But they should be straight up and down. Do not put them on a diagonal or cockeyed. They have to be straight up and down. So there you go. There's my four posts. Now I have to draw the reflection of that. Okay. So if I hold my ruler here at four inches and I flip it around at four inches, the bottom of my bridge was at two inches and the top of it was at four inches. I slide my ruler over. The bottom of my bridge was at two inches and the top of it was at four inches. Okay, so I've got these two marks here and here and I've got two marks here and here where my bridge is gonna be. Now, here's the tricky part. We're going to measure how tall our bridge is, six inches to the top of it. And I'd say about, what, one, two, three and a half from the bottom. So if I go like this, I say six inches, okay, let's do it this way. Six inches to the top of our bridge, right? And I said three, one, two, three and a half to the bottom. Now I've got those two here and here. So I'm gonna draw from this side, down curve to hit that mark, and then out to the side. Then I'm gonna start here, down to this curve, to my high point, and then curve back down this way, like that. And then we've got our bridge on the bottom. Now you're gonna take your ruler, line it up with the, the posts here, and make your post. Just slide your ruler over each time to make your post. See, there's my post. Here's my post on the bottom. And this is where it really helps if your line was vertical before. It'll follow right over into the bottom being vertical. Okay, so there's my reflection of those posts. Move over and reflect these posts. And move over and reflect these posts. Okay, and the one thing left that we have to do is to make this bottom part thinner here and the top part thicker there. Okay, so I'm just gonna bring a parallel line right here. And a parallel line right here. Okay, so we've got our symmetrical picture from the top, symmetrical down to the bottom. Okay, now the last step is putting in those lily pads. Okay, the lily pads in the front are going to be the biggest, the ones in the back are going to be the smallest. Now, the real trick of this is when we get to the painting part, these lily pads are gonna be different because they're not symmetrical on the top because we don't have lily pads floating up in the top, right? So these lily pads, we're gonna have to paint in after we paint everything else in, okay? So we're gonna leave them out for now and we'll put them in later once we get all the other stuff painted, okay? so. Call this done for today. This is our drawing, and this is what it should look like. It should be symmetrical from our line here, just like we talked about. Bridge in the water, bridge above the water, trees on either side, bushes in the middle, bushes in the middle, and you should definitely have your name on the back, okay? And that concludes our Monet water lily painting.